Mana itself, the, the the title of you know my comic book company, Mana, is just that power. It's just that energy. It's that energy you don't see. The energy you'll find, like within the mountains, within history, within if you walk into like a stadium filled with supercharged, you know, people, fans just screaming. That energy that happens, that manifests. That's Mana. That's that inner power within somebody. And I try to infuse all that into the books I do to get people excited. I was fascinated by, you know, comic books and Saturday morning cartoons uh, to the point where, you know, I would sneak out the house, gathering loose change I could find, whether in the, you know, the sofa seats and take off the 7-Eleven. Comics were not allowed in my, in my household. My dad and my stepmom both agreed that comic books would uh, corrupt me. And maybe it did, maybe it did not, but I just enjoyed them so much for the art, for the storytelling. You know, my parents would wise up to me sometimes and, and discourage them that I get a lecture. And uh, it got to the point where I was digging holes underneath my house. Our house was on stilts. And I would dig holes underneath and uh, access them under the ground. And uh, I took one of these comic books to a comic book creator, one of my favorites, uh, George Perez. And he took a look at it and said, wow, this is really beaten. I says, yeah, but you, you wouldn't believe what I had to go through to uh, maintain this. Uh, so it, it's, it was definitely an upbringing that, you know, didn't favor it, but it, I guess it was my passion. It's just so funny too, actually with my first Kickstarter, I, I you know, you know, I'll actually during that time, I didn't have a lot of money either. I was going through some tough period. So I was like, oh, let me, let me ask my dad if he'd be interested in this. And I, you know, I hesitated with ask, actually asking him to help fund uh, that particular book. But I think he understood, especially he could see that it was still, uh, I was still excited about it. It was my passion. And he was definitely, you know, he, he helped fund that project to make it a reality. And and for the guy, I, I couldn't believe it because this is the guy that, you know, I had to like dig, dig, dig under the ground. And here's this guy that he just made a complete turnaround and says, you know, I'll support you. In fact, I'll go further than that too. Uh, I'll make t-shirts for you, I'll make buttons, I'll make prints. So talk about like in like 180 with my dad. I didn't even know that dude. This is not the guy I grew up with. And he's, well, I would say he's number one fan and supporter of the books. Books and comics, they're not so far apart. It's still reading and it's it's important to, I mean, there's just so much elements in, in, in storytelling for comics that, um, and lessons to be learned. And I actually try to infuse these kind of lessons within my own comic books to this day. Getting people connected with the character, you know, giving them real problems. But and giving them like, given these this this the sense of accomplishment, not to give up on things. And if you do, you're gonna make mistakes. But guess what? You know, it's that hero inside you that makes you pick yourself up and just keep on moving forward. And um, that's something I really attuned to, and I feel connected with that. You know, being part Hawaiian, and you know, going to the parties, talking to the uncles and the aunties, and you know, them having a deep respect for the island culture. It's just, you feel it, you know, even at, you know, ceremonies or people singing on stage, you know, playing music, it's that energy that you can't, you can't really find anywhere else. It's just specific to here. Amakua to me, it means just prote it protectors. Now, if you want to go diving into the Hawaiian history, it is definitely a, a cultural sensitive thing too as well. A lot of people identify it as being family members who passed or personal gods. For me, it's that term of those who protect the weak, Amakua, is like the guardians of Hawaii. And it doesn't necessarily have to be Hawaiian, but they're islanders and the Hawaii is their home. I have so many races and, and, and faces that represent Hawaii that I think the having it in the present day just shows our community that is so special that that mixed plate you'll never find. But the term of maybe Amakua, it, it wasn't like, hey, your Amakua is this. Like a lot of people say, hey, my Amakua is a shark. Hey, my Amakua is like, well. Um, but for me, I always thought it would be like a gecko. I don't know. I just, I have a, I have a connection to that gecko. And actually, Gecko Man is my, uh, one of my first uh, characters that I created. You know, it's unassuming. Um, it's, you just don't know what they're doing. I think I like the stealth factor. I'm a stealth kind of guy, but I think Gecko was, it, it's just like, everyone's like, okay, I want to be like a, you know, mono, like a shark. I said, no, nah, I, I just want to be like in the, hanging on the side, just watching how things go. It's the connection to the island. When Stanley made his comics, you know, his, his universe, he built it. You know, he came into a comic book a company, but then he goes, okay, where I'm going to write my characters. He goes, well, you know, I live in New York. I'm familiar with it. 
that's what I'm gonna do. It's gonna be in New York. Me, I have an advantage because I wanted superheroes from here and I live here. I don't shy away from using pigeon. I don't shy away from banter with each other that you would only find here, yeah? Um, you go to schools and the kids are like, those are characters like that talk like us and you know, they'll look like us. And when, when those kind of things happen, you get like that chicken skin moment. Like uh, it's, it's, you know, it's what you're trying to share. People are getting it and people are reacting to it. Yeah. I was actually approached uh, last year by the Kamehameha inter internship program. And they said, Hey, would you be willing to take on an intern? Now, first I was like, I don't know. I, I'm kind of stacked. I, could I really do that? But I actually said, okay, let's do this. And I'm actually so grateful that I did take the opportunity because you know, I, I got a great intern out of it. Her name is Mukihana. I just saw how hard she worked and what she put into it. I said, I'm gonna give you the opportunity to draw one of those variant covers we were talking about for Kamehameha. And yeah, I think that pretty much floored her like, wow. And yeah, honestly, she did a great job. And with her as the intern drawing it, it's, it's really a special thing because like I said, it's for that next generation. I grabbed another intern because they said, oh, I wanna, I wanna translate, translate it from English to Hawaiian. What a great, great thing. And I also got another intern who's going to be in charge of uh, marketing. So uh, Kamehameha School's um, intern internship program via Kumu Sally, she really, uh, you know, they went above and beyond to help and Kukua and to push it forward because I think it's important to them too. Like, like me, we share that vision to get these kids excited. I want someone to crack open the book and say, you know, wow, you know, I'm excited to learn about this. It's, you know, you're learning about the culture, you're learning about Hawaiian history. I try to touch upon things that happen in Hawaii. As much as I love local humor, I do want to bring awareness to certain things. And I think one that I touched upon was the overthrow that we did. So if someone's to crack the book and they say, what exactly happened here? They're, really, it, we were a kingdom over here? If I'm creating that awareness, I'm teaching them. It's a teaching moment for them to go what, to look further into something. So uh, those are moments that I knew that I, I could show in my stories. I can I can share and I can you can start a conversation about something that that was so you know just groundbreaking and you know important you know to teach. It's more important to me to have this these great books that local kids. Uh, locals everywhere can really connect with. That's more important to me than anything else, I believe. You know, I give her prayer every night. I say, please allow Mana Comics to just bring joy, to excite, to inspire.